210 Boxing TV, here we are with Sergio Mora. Uh, here for Bam Rodriguez versus Rung of Size fight on Saturday. I, I want your thoughts. What do you think about the fight? Man, exciting fight. It's a big step for Bam Rodriguez, uh, you know, coming off the biggest win of his career with Carlos Quadras. A lot of people didn't, you know, give him an opportunity to win that fight. It was a championship fight. He took it on, what, four or five days notice. 22-year-old kid, I mean, that's ambition, that's talent with the right team. You got to give it to him, but... You know, so Rungva size, no joke, two-time champ, big power, probably the hardest puncher at 115. He will get hurt. Jesse will get hurt. How he's going to react to it is another thing. But I like Jesse Rodriguez. I like his footwork. I like the, the angles. I like the team in his corner. I like Robert Garcia. It's going to be a great fight. Like you said, Rungva Sai may be the hardest puncher at 115. 43 knockouts and 50 wins. Never been stopped. Right. Um, do you see a stoppage in this fight, or you see it going to 12 rounds? They're going to 12 rounds. I think there's going to be a. I think I think both of them might even go down or get hurt. That I can see, but uh, no, I don't, I don't see no knockouts in this. It's going to be similar to like the Quadras fight, but this time I, I see Bam Rodriguez going through some adversity. So uh, yeah, 12 round decision. It should be close. Potential fight of the year candidate. Hope so, man. Uh, we got a lot of exciting people here. I mean, San Antonio's in the house, and we got a kid that that the sky's the limit for him, and, and it's in, in his hometown, so he's going to have a lot of fans. Fight of the year would be big for him, big. You were there You were there for the Quadras fight. What were your thoughts on the Quadras fight? Well, I thought Quadras was going to be a little bit more aggressive, but whenever you have that kind of footwork and ring generalship, it's hard to plant your feet to set that power. So Quadras couldn't get off, man. And, uh, you know, taking a fight on, on short notice, you know, when, when you're preparing for somebody else, that could, that could always throw someone else off. But that just speaks volumes of Bam Rodriguez instead of what, it, what Quadras didn't do. It's more of what Bam did to him. Do you think people have problems with Bam? Because he's kind of... Bam, he has a... It's a, a different style. He's, he's, he's consistent like Spence where he has that jab, but he also has that footwork like Lomachenko or I'm, I'm going to throw it back to an old school, my, my OG, Orlando Canizales. He kind of wow. has that He kind of has that footwork of, of Canizales and, oh, and Lomachenko. You know what? I'm going to watch some Canizales uh, uh, video on that because I'm normally comparing him to Lomachenko and yeah, I see flashes of uh, Errol Spence once he does get aggressive with Canizales. Credit to you, man. He's, gonna, he's the originator. That, that That's my OG, so I give it to him. No, nah, that's a good one because he does he does these angles, and, you know, uh, he is a legend. But uh, angles and the, the, the punch selection really is what it is. The body shots, the uppercuts, and, and just how cool he is under pressure. So, yeah, all that, all of the above.